Hi there, I'm Rhea from Active Health Clinic and today I wanted to bring up something that I was speaking with a patient um, about last week and we were talking about pacing and that pacing is quite difficult um, and one of the biggest things that I've always said is that pacing is quite an elusive term. You'll always feel like you're kind of searching for it or that you're trying to do better. Now, one thing that I've actually been able to verbalize recently is that um, it took me a long time. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm a professional at pacing, but um, recently I started to use the discussion that pacing is the process. It is not the outcome. And a lot of the time we think that pacing is the outcome. Pacing means I will feel this way. Pacing means I can do that. Pacing means this. Pacing means that. And you know, that means that pacing is an outcome. Once we get to pacing, we can therefore get to A, B, and C. Um, but what's really important to acknowledge is if we actually take a step back from that, pacing is the process. It is not an outcome. And why it's a process is it's actually about trying to pace. It's about acknowledging your needs. And it's not about pacing perfectly or failing pacing. It's actually about trying to connect with your baseline, your capacity, trying to find it and trying to respect it. Pacing is a modality to get you from A to B. It is not an outcome. It is not you are at A and pacing is B. It is the process of how, what helps you get there. Okay, And this is something that's really, really important because a lot of people feel like they're bad at pacing or that they're failing at their concept of pacing. And, you know, there is no right or wrong of pacing. You are going to boom and bust. You are going to experience flare ups. You are going to experience setbacks. But every time we do, we feel like it's a flaw within what we've been doing. And to be honest, sometimes that may be the case. We can look back and go, oh, hindsight's a wonderful thing. I probably could have done that. But in other times, it's a series of circumstances that come together that lead to you experiencing those symptoms the way that you are. And we can't put judgment on that. We can't tell ourselves that we've failed, that if I only paced better, then I wouldn't be feeling this way. In all honesty, one of the biggest components of an invisible illness or a complex health condition is the fact that it varies. And if we look at the term syndrome, it looks at the fact that there is so many inconsistencies within it. It is why it's labeled as a syndrome. So what's really important is that we cannot put ourselves on this pedestal that we expect ourselves to be pacing perfectly because that actually doesn't exist. And, you know, we can be pacing really, really well and feel like we're absolutely nailing it. And that's great. That's absolutely wonderful. But that is the modality to help you get somewhere. It helps you manage things or it helps you progress things, whatever it may look like. So what I'd like for you to take away from today is that pacing is a process. It is not an outcome. Stop searching for it to be your perfect outcome because unfortunately you may not get there. And, and that's not to say um, anything about the individual or, or the person. It is to talk about the nature of these illnesses and it is to say that we are going to experience highs and lows and one of the biggest of my mantras and something that I actually stuck up on the wall and I made my own little um, quote about it is that striving for perfection will be your greatest failure and I use that in reference to my pacing. Me striving for perfection within uh, my pacing was my greatest failure because I constantly was failing at it and I was constantly telling myself that I had to be doing something wrong, that I was never going to get there because I can't even pace. How can I get better? Now, there is a big difference between pacing and not pacing. Um, and it's not to say that you shouldn't be pacing. It is to say that pacing should be a huge priority, but it is also to say that that's going to be difficult. And the fact that it's difficult is okay because it's a process, not an outcome. So I really, really, really hope this video helps. I think it was just a big um, light bulb moment for me, both as a patient and later on down the track as a practitioner to really have a look at the, the, the process of pacing in each individual. It's not a one size fits all. And as you'll see on our YouTube channel, the amount of videos we have on pacing is because there's so many different ways of doing it and so many different patients or personalities or circumstances respond to different things. And it's really important that we don't have this one scale of pacing, that we actually have multiple and that will change and evolve over time based on where you're at health-wise, where you're at life-wise as well. Um, 
So I hope you take a lot away from this. If this is something that you found helpful or that you really resonate with, I encourage you to share with someone else because this is really, really important for people to know that pacing is not perfect.